Good morning, everyone. It's Stephen and Andrea from Pin in the Atlas. Take a look at this scenery. We are on our way to an abandoned resort. Decided to make a little stop. See here up in the mountains, you can see the road that we're about to go up. But we've seen this. Move over this direction. Keep you out of the sun. So this did used to be a petrol station, gas station. You see there's the remnants where the pumps would have been. So they have kind of torn, there's a bunch of pieces of concrete. I don't know if this just became a dumping ground or if they tried to uh, pull some of this up. So let's head inside, see what remains. Front counter. And there's a cold storage. That's where you would come in, get your soda. Gatorade, carbonated drinks, whatever. Goes back quite deep. Another storage room. What we're not seeing is the bathroom. Wonder where that is. Okay, I believe we found it. Out here around back and... Yep, there it is. Boy, that old adage is true. Gas station bathrooms are the worst, aren't they? So that's the road we'll be climbing. Don't know if you can see it going up, curving up the mountain. There's a lot of traffic, so we do apologize for the traffic noise. But the reason why we actually stopped here, we're saving the best for last. We've spotted an old jail cell. Let's explore. This little jail cell is located 49 miles south of the mountain town of Sholo on the Salt River Canyon. Now, I don't know how genuine this jail is. Uh, it could just be a touristy thing. I haven't been able to find hardly anything out about it online, but let's explore. We'll have a look around the outside first. You can see the old bars which is kind of crazy because if you were in a jail, you could easily kick these walls in. Round nails, which means it's not as old. It's Now what do round nails, what's the, the date of the round nails? I think uh, it's under a hundred years. Over a hundred years are square. I think under is round. We'll, we'll double check to be accurate on that, but off the top of my head, I think that's what it is. It's had a bit of fire damage. Let's have a look inside. So you've got the old jail bed or cot and there's see that's uh also a bit strange. it's a mix you got some springs and then you got wood slats So 
So yeah, like Andrew said earlier, this will be quite easy to break out of. I mean, what other jail cell do you know that has a massive window like this in it? <laughs> <laughs> Still, nevertheless, really neat little find. It would be quite cold at night and stifling in the summer. Look at the, the gaps. Sorry about the vehicle noise. Like we said, it is uh, on a busy road here. What have you got to say for yourself? I'm innocent. Well, we've been scouting around and I do think the jail was a tourist trap because We've noticed that there's some hard concrete parking lots here with hookups. So possibly this little service station used to have hookups for RVs, which would make sense then that the jail was built for tourists. Well, that was a nice little find, but now let's head on down to the abandoned resort. We have arrived at our destination. If you can see at the very small right hand corner of the screen right there, there's an old cabin, some old structures, and some more right in front of us. I paused to get this photo because I really like the way these old lights look. I know some people say, oh, they're not retro enough, they're kind of ugly. I, however, quite like them. Then just over here, the first structure is an old gas station. Now, like we've done before and like we always do, we walk through some of these structures to begin with just to make sure nobody was here and make our presence known. Uh, we did come across quite a bit of rude graffiti, so we're really not going to film inside, but we will do a quick uh, overview of the outside. Alright, let's go walk around the outside. Now, as another rule of thumb, something that we always do is we make sure there are no, no trespassing signs or do not enter or post it for anything because we do not want to break the law. We abide by all the rules. So see there's the old front door, the windows. Like I said, we'll try not to get any of that graffiti in because it is, uh, it's not family friendly. If I did get some in, I apologize. We'll try to blur it out. And that's all boarded up there. Shall we go take a look over here? There is the back side of the petrol station. We've come down the hill so we can enter into this building. And just like before, we did a quick walkthrough. Still no signs. And over here. Now see that face, that artwork, I enjoy that. Anybody who's an artist that can do things like that, that's quite amazing. The thing we don't like is people just grabbing spray cans and just putting naughty words and things like that on the walls. There's kind of no need for it. But this building's pretty unique. Oh, hello there. I'm glad somebody still works here. I've got a few questions to ask, if you don't mind. Welcome to the Seneca Lake Resort. Now this resort was built back in the 1970s by the San Carlos Apache tribe. It was built as a recreational resort and at the time it was called Cinema Park at a cost of $526,000.
Now, unfortunately, the tribe defaulted on their payment, so the whole place was closed down in 1973. But they did have lots and lots of plans for the place. Let's explore. So this obviously was the main reception area that you would come into and book your room. It's a beautiful big building, or it was a beautiful big building. Once again, I do apologise if we do miss any rude graffiti. We are doing everything in our power not to film that. But wow, look at the fireplace. That's huge. So I would imagine this would be like the guest area where people would sit and relax. The stone wall. And the stone fireplace. So it's a double open fireplace. Continuing on from the fireplace, I see all the drywall, everything's been ripped out of here. Insulation things on the floor. That looks like a large vent for like a kitchen. I wonder if they had uh, some like the continental breakfast or something in here. Maybe that large room was for breakfast area. Oh, well, it could be. It's here, small little room that looks like maybe that could have been a bathroom. Right over here, you can tell by the, uh, this is cold storage. So this is the freezer area. Sorry, the light's a bit, uh, it's quite dark in there. So it's just hard to tell what a lot of these rooms were. We're heading back outside. Little breezeway area. There's a petrol station up there. There's a front receptionist desk. A few more little rooms off of here. I see a toilet seat in there. These could have been restrooms as well. No stairs going up top. It's just all heating and duct work up there. Again, a lot of the drywall has just been well, I can see it's in a huge pile here on the floor. I don't know, with weathering, people getting up there, kicking it down. Who knows? That's pretty much it for this side of the building. We'll walk over to the front here. Long walkway. And again, dip back inside. I think these are uh, these are also definitely restrooms. Yeah, see the stalls are still up. Ah, oh, it's a little too dark to see. Apologize for that. This one's still got the door. Listen to that. All right, believe that's about it for this building. We'll head back outside around the corner. Here another little breezeway. It looks like there's a there's a picnic area. I see a picnic table down over there. So maybe check that out a little bit later. But for now, we're going to head off over there to the next building. Here's the next building. I'm going to stop and get a good look at that roof. The old wood shingles. Sip at the very top. Those shingles are all gone. Plywood's gone. And you can see insulation blowing around. So we'll see what this one could have been. Don't know if it's a cabin. Another little store maybe. 
You see the bricks are in really good shape. They had wood cladding along the outside. That's all missing now. Very weathered. Oh, look at the size of these windows. And oh, look at that staircase. That's unique. So from the look of it, see there is a bathtub right there. So I would say this was a cabin, don't you think? So when it was originally built, there were several cabins, the petrol station that we've already seen, a trading post, uh, a bar and a restaurant. Now there were plans on building an 80 unit establishment for guests, but as I said before, the money ran out, they defaulted on their payments, and the whole lot got closed down. Now I'm raising the camera up because the stairs are extremely unsafe. So I'm just going to see what is up here. I kind of think that's going to be the master bedroom. It would overlook the entire space. That makes a lot of sense to us. So you can pretty much see through the first few video sections here that there's not much to this cabin. You can pretty much see through the whole thing. Let's do a quick walk through. That great big windows. And then this was a closet. We'll go back through to the by the stairs. Now they were planning to do, I think like riding stations so you could ride horses and even talked about doing a golf course but as we say those plans never came to fruition here's the other side of the fireplace so we're gonna walk out go see the next cabin ah now here is the perfect opportunity to show you guys something do you see all the nails sticking up right there that is precisely why we wear steel toe work boots and it's got a metal shank in the sole with big thick soles so that if you do happen to walk across and step on these nails it's not going to penetrate and get to your foot which is a good idea if you all out there decide to do some urban exploring of your own wow okay insulation everywhere This one has a lot more drywall than the other one. So you get a better feel of the layout. So this could have been like the dining room, maybe kitchen. The big window over there. Hallway. There's a the bathroom. Tub in there. And I'm assuming this would be the bedroom. I got like a closet over there. Yeah, it looks filthy. I don't really want to walk across that. So that it doesn't get too boring. There are two more cabins. This is one of them. The layouts are exactly the same. And they're all in the same state of arrested decay. So I'll walk quickly up over to the other one just to show you so that we get it in. And then we'll move on to the next thing. See they put concrete slab and they put wood decking over the top of it. It must have looked really nice back in the day. And see here's the last one. So these three cabins are identical. The very first one obviously was a luxury cabin. An old water tower up there on that ledge. Thought that was kind of interesting. So we're on our way to go see the waterfall. And just past those buildings is this abandoned campground. And it goes all the way around the lake that we could tell. So there's one way out there in the distance. Beautiful area. There's a few more here.
kind of haunting in a way. This has obviously been closed down for a while. It's the graffiti. And the bathroom's up there. Come down just to the edge of the water, you can see this is really overgrown. Very difficult to traipse through, so I'm not going to attempt it. But I'll raise it up and show you how the campground continues around the outside of the lake. You can see some of those, like, sun structures up over across the way. Now, there is no water for the waterfall for the next area that we came up to. However, the view is absolutely incredible. Take a look at this. Isn't that something? You almost get the impression we're entering the Grand Canyon, but we're nowhere near it. I'm gonna be extremely careful here because heights absolutely terrify me. But this is absolutely stunning. There's a pool down there see the water in it and the waterfall will continue down there there's another pool and then out into the valley that would definitely be something to see fun fact can you remember Geronimo the famous Apache chief well he called San Carlos his home even though he's buried in a small town called Fort Sills in Oklahoma. True story. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a wonderful comment down below. We hope you enjoyed spending the day with us. Remember, get out there, get exploring, and go put another pin in the atlas. And we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.